Hey everyone, Arkin here with Oxygen First Breath. It is a survival colony, I believe. New game. Um, probably do okay, basics. Uh, ru ruins. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with with. That. Welcome to the tutorials. I'm happy Jeez. to see you here. Let's start with the basics. Okay. First, we should start with the camera controls. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Great. Let's move. As you see, <laughs> our people are in front of the oxygen center. When they oh. are out, they use oxygen tanks. We have to keep the oxygen center running to provide the required energy to our buildings. Okay, so I don't. So the buildings run on oxygen? Perfect. Here we can see the total energy consumption of the oxygen center and also our constructors list. Our constructors are always ready and will start working as soon as you plan a construction. Young adults, old adults, adults, young adults. All over the place. Okay. Let's move on to the energy menu. Let's. Is it? Okay. Here we can see our energy resources. Oh. There is only coal right now, but we'll hopefully move on to sustainable energy resources later. Okay. Now let's <laughs> focus on coal. To keep the oxygen center running, our people should be sent to the ruins to collect the required coal. Uh, sure. That's the ruins? That's the... Oh, okay. Very good. By the doing that, three? we assign the profession of scavenger to those settlers. Let's open the professions menu and see the workplace assignments. Okay. <laughs> A lot of this is, is awesome. familiar, but... Here we can see all assigned professions. If no profession is assigned to a settler, it means the Ooh. settler becomes a constructor. Well, now I have people assigned to trees. Now it's time to focus on basic needs, water, food, and houses. Let's start with a water purifier. That would probably be good. Okay. I can figure out water. Well, that works fast. Okay. Shouldn't we maybe, oh, I don't know, start with housing for the people? Like... So, how many of these builders? No, these are built. What can I just. So, I got eight. Okay, there we go. I'm like, why aren't you doing. Why do you. What do you do? It'll explode. It's gonna explode. Um, okay. And you're just gonna disappear. Okay. No worker aside. Yes, the worker is now assigned. Uh, I'll do two. Okay. Productivity. It's the, oh, I need, it wants me to assign three. Great. Okay. Now we have a water purifier where we can produce water. When a certain amount is produced, one of the workers will drop off the produced water at the closest storage. Okay. Now let's focus on food production. It's best to start with a fishing dock. Uh, sure. We're seriously, we're purifying the water. Okay, I, I'm not. We're purifying this water to drink, but we're gonna eat the fish from the from it. That's fine. Everything's fine. Actually, I'm gonna minus this down. Wow, that was loud. Okay, let's see if we get speed. Oh, actually, speed's going fairly. What are you? I guess scavenge you? I need two scavengers. Okay. Okay. Fish people. How many do you want me to have? Two. Well done. We've now taken care of our basic supply of food and water. You should make sure that enough food and water are on hand at all times. Yes. There's food. There's water. Okay. Now let's build a canteen so that our people can visit when they are hungry or thirsty. If there is no canteen in your settlement, 
they go to the closest store into them. Each visit hmm. to the canteen brings extra points to the confidence level of the visitor. Okay. I gotta fix like that first. Are you really gonna be that picky? Oh, just gonna put it there. I like that everything shows up in a box. Just in a box, a random box. Okay, so we've got 14 professionals. Yeah, okay. Um, sure. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out that. I'm gonna guess 14 adults, 2 kids. I'm gonna guess. And then 16 need homes. What do you? Grab it. Okay, assign one person to the camp. Good. Now we have a canteen. Our people prefer the closest canteen to them when they are hungry or thirsty. On the other hand, canteen workers prefer the closest story to pick up the required food and water. Makes sense. Now let's focus on constructing some houses. Yes, let's. Oh, it exploded. Now, the, so that, okay, so that exploded. Cannot be used until the crack is Okay. What are you? So sorry, getting distracted. Retainer house. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four. Stick it like that, okay. <laughs> Build four. So we have sixteen, so each one will hold four. Four eight twelve sixteen. Okay, that that works. Can I while they're doing that I want to kind of uh a little bit. And uh, we'll just stick with this one. We got a bridge here that kind of destroyed. Looks like got a lot of stuff we could scavenge. And it's all foggy here, that's kind of scary. Bridges we can't use. Brain. Event log is done. What? Oh. Okay, so one house is completed. I thought they show up in a big box. <clears throat> okay, so two two homes are done, and then these two will be done. Who are you? Oh, I think that's one of our guys or gals. Like, like, I am so confused as to what happened here. Disaster of some sort. Alright, let's finish this up. Probably a good thing I did. Excellent. Now our people have houses to rest, have kids, and more importantly, fill up the oxygen tanks. Yes, that's Let's that's build some roads for faster walking speed. Okay. Roads. Dirt road. Okay, well. This reminds me of... End zone. That's all it's gonna let me do is one road? Really? I was so confused for a minute. I'm like, why? Oh, that's why. Okay. It's all good. I gotta figure Perfect. it out. Perfect. Ah. Now our people will walk faster when they are on the roads. You should also know that roads don't require any construction material, but can only be built by construction workers. Okay. Well, let's do the next one, shall we? I think this episode is going to be this. Let's continue with the challenges. Wind is one of the main challenges in this world because winds bring toxic gases and reduce the oxygen level. Oh. Therefore, we should get ready for them. Okay. Since the winds bring toxic gases, 
Our people can get sick on these windy days and die if they are not treated. Therefore, we should build a medical post. Okay, I'm really glad I did this work. I would not have known that and I would have just built up stuff and, and then been like screwed. Oh no. <laughs> this is why tutorials are important. Although I noticed that this is a way different layer than this is gonna explode again. Full deposit. Stone gear. Okay. What are you water purifier? Okay, well I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna follow these instructions. And this this will help any of you out as well if if you decide to get it. Great. The medical post is built as planned. Our people can go there if they are sick and stay there until their treatments are completed. But yeah, if you guys are interested in in this, uh, you won't have to do the tutorial Since now. Since the oxygen <laughs> center consumes more energy during the winds, we should store a considerable amount of coal before the winds. Let's build a coal mine. Coal mine. Okay. Resources. Coal mine. I like how it just sticks it in place. But I don't think it'll be like that if not on the tutorial. So it looks like this will be hmm, the same exact spot that we'll start out in. Um, maybe, should I get a couple of people on here? At least one, so that we have some of these. I mean, I know it's the next tutorial, but I have a feeling that they still want you to keep your people alive, maybe? Yeah, how many do you want? Three. Okay. How many people do I still- I still- oh, I don't have any. Okay, that's, that's fine. I'll put one there. The trees. I don't know why, but <clears throat> this is going to explode again soon. So now we just, oh, we're just waiting for the coal to be collected. So we've got 15 now. We're halfway there. If you like this, want to see more, please like, subscribe. Usually I don't really do tutorials. Uh, this one, I figured it would be a little bit easier than this, but... This is complicated. I mean, it's not, but it was definitely, like, I didn't know that about the wind. That is definitely something new. A lot of this other stuff is quite familiar. Delta, yeah, eight people. Oh, duplex. Very good. Now we have enough coal for the upcoming windy days. Now okay. we should run the oxygen generators in all of the buildings. Workers don't consume oxygen tanks when the generator is turned on in the building. Ah, I was wondering. Oh, hi. I do it? Oh, I do it. I was wondering why it was Perfect. like that. You can also run the oxygen generator in any specific building you need. If it's off, workers consume oxygen tanks. They go home for filling when their oxygen tanks are empty. Maybe they should go before it's empty. Now let's check the buildings <laughs> with sufficient oxygen. Uh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. You should cool. also know that there are some buildings where oxygen generators work automatically. Oh, that's now good. let's check the energy consumption of the buildings. Okay. Amazing. Now you know how to control your building's oxygen sufficiency and energy consumption. As these oxygen generators increase your energy consumption, you should remember to turn them off when your energy is short. Good to know. Um. This is going really, really fast now. Oh, that was good. Now it's time to hey. take action regarding cracks. Cracks explode if there is no gas extractor placed on them. Then, they start Loud. releasing toxic gases and can become a risky zone for our people. To unlock gas extractor, we should build a research center first. Okay. 
uh, technology research. Where are you going to make me put it? Over here. Got it. So this one's like now going to explode too. Why would you blow up my building? To be repaired. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess that's probably when this finished. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely uh, different. Kind of like it. Okay, so now you want how many people? Three. Three people. And now I just need to collect research points. Don't know how often that will be. I don't know what else to do while just waiting. Impatiently waiting. Let's speed it up. Very well. Now we have a research center and adequate research points for unlocking the gas extractor. Okay. Let's use the research points to unlock the gas extractor from the research center menu. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, plant health. Shelter, signal tower, metal processing, metal work. Oh, there's oh, medium. Oh, there's lots in here. Okay. So these, this is special apparently. So it shall be special. Well done. Now you know how to use your research points to unlock anything from the re Now okay. we should build a <laughs> gas extractor on the crack. It is the only way to prevent its explosion. And also, we'll be able to generate electricity for the oxygen center. But if the cracks show up everywhere, then that means that we're going to have to build one of these on, like, everything all the time. Yeah, build one there, then there. Like, oh. That's, that's going to be annoying. Can we build this, please? I personally wouldn't want that job. Excellent. Now we've protected our people from a possible explosion. Don't forget, these cracks can occur anywhere. Great. Now it's time to take care of the dead trees and revive them. Trees require oh. a lot of water to reach the required vitality for creating a tree dome. Fair. During a rainy or snowy day, trees don't require water. I would assume not. <laughs> okay, so click it. Oh, that was loud. Correct. Put someone on it. When a tree's vitality reaches the required percentage, it generates a tree dome and acts as a natural oxygen center. Any Ooh. building under a tree dome has no energy consumption. People don't get sick during the winds and also don't consume oxygen tanks under a tree dome. That is really good to know because I would have tried to like, I thought they would be chopping them down. Oh, I am learning so much. This is like Welcome insane. Again. Let's continue with our people's confidence. All right. Our people's confidence is quite important, especially regarding productivity and the vote of confidence. Let's see the parameters of the vote of confidence. Let's. Great. As you <laughs> see, you can do several things to increase the vote of confidence. It indicates at what level the settlers support you. Oh. Let's start with a nice cafe for our people to meet over and socialize. A cafe. Okay. Doesn't even look like they really have housed. Oh, that's big. Uh, shouldn't we do something about this? Like, you kind of taught us about that, you know? Uh, part of me wants to just, just do that. Oh, I don't have access. Under C? Gas extractor? What? Under C? Um, okay, are we taking this to the water too? I don't know how to feel about that now, but I, I am going to throw one person in here. And one in here. And one here. Even though I don't think we need it, um, I, I feel that we probably need it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. I don't even know. Yeah, we got enough power. 
I feel like they want you to use the knowledge from before because this explodes. It may take that out. That worries me that those things can show up anywhere. <clears throat> That's the one on there. That that greatly, greatly worries me. All right, come on. Almost done. Very well. Now our people can enjoy their free time at this cafe. Each visit brings extra points to the visitor's confidence. Yeah, until it gets blown up by by these cracks. Now let's focus on some decorations <laughs> and build a star. A star. Um, okay. That seems awfully uh large and unnecessary, but okay. Let's speed this up. Perfect. Now our people can enjoy their free time when they visit this decoration. Each visit brings extra points to the visitor's confidence depending on the decoration type. Okay. Now it's time to build some high-level comfort duplex buildings and increase our people's confidence. Build a duplex. Oh, building two duplexes. I stand corrected. Still have concern. <laughs> Can I do this yet? I still need 30 gear. I don't know where to get gear. It doesn't... I don't know if it wants me to do this. I mean, food and water, I'm assuming. But that's not part of... Uh, part of it. At least of this tutorial. Alright. This will take a bit. Kevlar. Very good. These buildings also have high speed oxygen fill up. Therefore, our people will be able to fill their oxygen tanks more quickly. Well, that's now good. let's build a temple for our people's spirituality. Temple. Okay. Yeah, the tutorial, I think, was, was definitely a good idea. Because for a moment I was like, yeah, maybe I don't, I do enough of these. Uh, I don't think we need the tutorial. And no, we, we definitely do. Because I usually don't have to deal with spirituality and other things like that. So, and definitely learning about, you know, you're going to explode. Don't take out this building. I will be mad if you do. Let's speed this up again. I don't know how many. I didn't look to see how many tutorials there actually were. Crap. I should have. This is going to take a while. Missing some of the houses though. But, oh well. Well done. Now we have a temple. Each visit to this temple brings extra points to the visitor's confidence. Okay. Now let's build a playground for our lovely kids. There are kids? Is a playground? That's a circus tent. Um, I don't know if I want to have it that close to that right now. Like, um, excuse me. You were saying that this releases toxic gases, so we're just going to go and build a playground beside it. So many things wrong with that. But anyways. I'm not gonna go into there. All the little clicks. Excellent. Now you know the main parameters of the vote of confidence. Keep it as high as possible. Is Otherwise, another one? our people may leave us in the future. Okay, next one. There's a few Welcome of these. Welcome again. Let's continue with exploration. Exploring. Now it's time to build a <laughs> submarine dock by the river oh. so that new people can join us by using it. Okay. 
that's how uh, no not you i want you submarine dog we're gonna yeah so so we're, we're gonna deal with water it goes so probably ocean off this way i don't know why a submarine what you, yeah probably probably comes in this way leaves that way or something i'm confused even more than i was before so we get so people don't just show up they oh, i mean like they show up but i guess they don't like walk over the bridge and come join us that's good to know well, this awesome. went fast. now we can find new people by using the submarine dock now let's prepare some canned fish for our expedition teams okay Food and water. Canning station. That is huge. <laughs> this is like insanely. I have a fig yeah, this this episode is definitely all the tutorial and learning this. So next episode it'll it'll be most likely all just gameplay and, and figuring out what not to do. <laughs> Because I usually figure out what not to do before I figure out what I should be doing. Uh, click on here. This one? No, this one. Three. But uh, I would assume I would also need fish. So I should probably have fishermen. I'm just picking one and everything. No, I want I want this one. This one first. Okay. So we need two canned fish. Now we're gonna go apparently on an adventure. Do we have any submarine people coming? Oh that would be a no. <laughs> this is gonna explode again. Very well. Now we can produce as many canned fish as we need for the signal tower and raider teams. Now it's time okay. to build a signal tower. We'll discover new places and save many people with the help of it. Uh, sure. It blew up again. I have yet to see them disappear. I haven't been in these each tutorial long enough to see them disappear yet. Alright, let's speed this up. I think I'm just gonna keep it on fast speed at this point. Now we're gonna have to assign a worker to it. Should be fine. 1100. I know it's just a tutorial, but I'm, li I'm liking this. Definitely liking this. Different. Perfect. Now we have a signal tower. You can send your team after discovering a new location. Now let's build a radar and discover new material deposits around. Okay, I guess I kind of have to do that, otherwise it goes way too fast. Uh, radar. I want it over here. I don't know why I want it. It's just random places. I'm not, not quite understanding that, but it's fine. I wonder if you spend long enough, if you actually do find that there's a pattern with these cracks. Or if they are truly just completely random. I assume none are going to just randomly show up during the tutorial, because otherwise what happens if one randomly showed up there? <laughs> and then, you know, you're supposed to put something there, but you can't. Now you're waiting and waiting. There's 2,000 for this one. Okay, right. triple speed. Come on. Yay. Okay, we need well done. one person. You've completed the tutorial successfully. Oh, good. Okay. Please go back to the main menu and start a real journey. I will. Alright, well, <laughs> so we've completed the tutorials. We kind of know what we're doing um, for this. So if you if you end up getting this game yourself, then uh, now you know what to do. You you could avoid the whole tutorial thing and just jump right in. But yeah, 
this was uh, was a tutorial apparently, and uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna jump right into the actual game game uh, for next video. So if you like this, want to see more, want to see the game at play or game at work, uh, please like subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the channel, and I will s uh, leave comments. If you have played this and you have any tips, suggestions, or figured anything out, please let me know. And have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.